Greetings, my name is Isa Bokarsi. I am here to present the following topic with uh, our dear audience. To be more precise, citizens of the Republic of the Gambia, home and abroad, particularly those on the ground. Uh, this is a theme, a topic or a question that I have been receiving all these days and prior to that also I've been receiving other questions in relation to how do I or would I analyze the following things, which is number one, some people are asking about the tour of His Excellency President Adam Abaro, President of the Republic of the Gambia and the Commander-in-Chief of the Gambian Armed Forces, and uh, other aspects related to, I mean, developments within the country. I'm going to give an answer to that effect or going to present analysis to that effect. And then my analysis will be premised along these lines, which is number one, I remember a lesson we received from Winston Churchill, who said, a pessimist see a challenge in every, in every opportunity, whereas optimists see an opportunity in every challenge. Well, that said also, freedom of ex expression is another, I mean, important pillar as far as democracy or dispensation of, or democratic dispensation and the dispensation of justice is concerned within democracy itself. Well, to that effect, I also used um, critical thinking by associating variables. Therefore, my opinion is that President Barrow is independent. Is independent of influence as far as the forthcoming parliamentary elections and uh, the campaign is concerned. Is also independent on many aspects based on what I have observed and based on what I have derived from those observations, some of which are facts. Number one fact, what I see is what I can judge. And I have seen and I have heard and people have confirmed that the President of the Republic of the Gambia, I mean, issued a memo or a directive for all government vehicles not to be used by any political party for political reasons, particularly campaign. He did not stop there. He ordered his Minister of Information in the name of Demba Ali Jao to issue that directive also in a more direct way to the ministries that were affected or that could be affected by an action like that. Another thing is that uh, President Adam Abaro, as we speak, I believe nobody would now have two minds that he is connected to the internet and uh, he is a Gambia. He speaks almost every dialect in the Gambia. He is seeing the pictures in the streets and he is listening to the campaign. One example is I've seen a poster with the PPP party where I think 
the tactical mind and the strategic ability of the head of the party has shown us how much of an experienced politician he is. Why did I say so? On those posters, you do see President Adam Abaro on the right and Omar Amadou Jalla on the left. At the, at the bottom, you see PPP coalition, which tactically, strategically, and of course legally, bearing in mind the regulations governing IEC, nothing has gone wrong there. And we have not heard anywhere the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Adam Abaro, say, I don't want my picture, I don't want my image to be associated with that post. He did not say that. So, for me, in terms of imagery, and whatever you need his portfolio for, as far as promoting your pol political candidate is concerned, he is like food for the nation. Anybody can eat as far as you're hungry. So that also, why am I saying it? Usually my positions are not gauged by what is popular or what is expected of me or what a political party likes to hear or doesn't like to hear. I go by the truth. Even if I were to be wrong, I am still sincere within me that what I said is what my heart was saying. Now, if one takes all those things into consideration, how can anybody make me believe, or any institution make me believe, that President Adam Abaro is not independent? He is independent. He is impartial. Where am I drawing that conclusion from? From the variables that have been associated? and from his own actions. The fact that he ordered for all government vehicles not to be used by any political party during the campaign. The fact that a political party can use his name and image as it is agreed upon that he is a president of everybody. The fact that President Adam Abaro himself is not stopping his Minister of Information to reiterate that point and underpin the need for those vehicles to be withdrawn, especially the most recent message he sent out from his Ministry of Information again, where he is extending his gratitude and appreciation to Gambians in the diaspora, and then scaled it down to the media fraternity or the media industry or the media houses, shows that he is independent. I is a bureaucracy would never ever hesitate to stand up against injustice and uh, to stand up against biases where it is proven. But as far as Isa Bokasi is concerned, President Adam Abaro is independent of any influence, particularly during this period where people are campaigning prior to the forthcoming parliamentary elections. So what I have used here as points of reference is what has convinced me so far that the man is independent, especially hiring a minister like Abubakar Batambedu. The way Batambedu operates, the way he delivers, it is only if the person is a pessimist and you 
are not ready to see anything other than a challenge in opportunity that's the time you would nullify or downgrade or belittle or dilute the contents of Bartambetu's intentions and actions that I geared towards nothing other than serving one's nation. Who hired Bartambetu? President Adam Abaro. If a person is trying his best to be one of the best servants in the world, what I would be ready to do is to motivate the person while guiding the person alongside. That is my personal opinion as far as Adam Abaro being independent of influence, especially during this time when political parties are campaigning towards the, president, towards the National Assembly election. For me, based on what I've just told you, he is independent. Thank you.